on the basis of uh, the procedures yes. uh, that uh, the Finance Act uh, tried to, I mean, the, the Ruti tried to take, yes. uh, uh, throwing aside the constitutional issues that might arise. Yes. And uh, Judge Majanja, there you saw him uh, particularly focusing on Article 27.1 of the Constitution of Kenya. And Article 27.1 of um, uh, that uh, particular piece of law uh, specifically entails equality before the law. Yes. Where everybody regardless of status regardless of uh, economic um, your income regardless of your intellect yes. <clears throat> regardless of your literacy everybody is equal before the law so <clears throat> the approaches of the altar of justice that is uh, uh tata and team they approached this uh, housing levy on the basis of the fact that look this levy is only targeting the civil servants so yes. the income earners but leaving out uh, the rest yes. the in, th those who are in the informal sector and now as per that it portrays the law as actually being um unequal is being applied unequally uh, to the citizens of the country remember if the law becomes so oppressive to the lowly in the society it is better be abolished yes. unlike um you allow the i mean you exclude you exclude the um the, the, the people in the informal sector but then you want to use this particular piece of legislation without provisions or reasons as to why you are giving this exclusion. Remember Justice Majanja was very particular. Without reason. The government was supposed to give a reason. Why have they left um, those in the informal sector? And why are they targeting these other uh, people? So in the lens of article 27 of the constitution of kenya 2010 yes the housing levy did not follow the law it is actually unconstitutional as the high court found it to be that's it. and so and uh, that's why the president immediately came up and uh, you, you saw him speaking about realignment so the president understood it that hey um the issue that the court has addressed on this is something that can be navigated through yes what we need to do is give reasons why we have uh, excluded yes. those in the informal sector yes or give reasons why we are only targeting those in the formal sector or simply um adjust it to include both by adjusting <coughs> Meaning, just like uh, the NHIF, uh, the f uh, former um, health insurance, you, you, you saw there was um, the, those in the civil the civil service. They were paying around one thousand and something yes. monthly, mm -hmm. but uh, those in the informal sector were being deducted five hundred shillings. So you see, there is an inclusion, although the inclusion here was not equal. It was not a levelized ground, yes. but it, that is what we call equity as opposed to equality. Yes. So you raise the short person and you allow the long I mean the, the taller person to just stand. We are both we, we both want to look at the football pitch, but the shorter one cannot be able to see that football pitch. So what do we do? We bring some chairs and tables to raise this person to a level where we can both. W watch the football pitch. Yes. So, so, so that is what uh, the uh, the NHIF or previ previous uh, drafters of the laws yes. were actually taking into consideration when, when when it comes to equality before the law. That's it. Yeah.
I'll be coming back to you, Silas, on that. 